The thing that I was going to lead the show off with today was the Texas monkey scandal. Have you read all the stuff about this? Uh, I saw a little bit about it. I'm I'm just not into this story. Like so you are. <laughs> it's if nothing else, it is entertaining. There is no like it doesn't affect anything in the world of college football other than if there's any kind of legal issues that could be coming against the special teams coordinator at at Texas, Jeff Banks, his girlfriend, uh, who used to be an exotic dancer who had a monkey that she used on stage with her. It's a pet monkey. It's an emotional support monkey. This thing apparently bit a child, not a trick-or-treater, but they were having like a house party in Austin and invited all the neighborhood kids over like to the backyard. One kid went away from where he was supposed to. The biggest problem here, Chris, was that she started talking about it on Twitter on Tuesday night. And or sorry, I guess on on Monday night, and at, at some point somebody must have told her, "Hey, delete all of that mess." Which people already got screenshots, so it is what it is. But she was all over Twitter, all over Instagram, actually responding to people that were talking about this, and basically confirmed the entire story. So Jeff Banks, one of the biggest issues with this is Jeff Banks is up for the Washington State job. Like he played at Washington State. Everybody had kind of, I say everybody, a lot of media outlets had been kind of saying that he was in the middle of negotiations, talks to go to Washington State at the end of this season to be their next head coach. This might put a, a little damper on that. It might pump the brakes on that just a little bit. Do you think that that would affect uh, the hiring of, of this guy at Washington State? No. I don't know that it would either. Uh, but it is entertaining. Have I you ever hired this. anybody, Gary? Have I? Yeah. No, Have I you ever don't... gone through a, like a legit in- interview process where you saw a bunch of candidates, you looked at their qualifications, you picked the ones that you thought might be the best, you called a bunch of people in, you sat down, you had anywhere between a thirty and you know minute to an hour and a half long conversation with them, and then like went back to decide who you were actually going to give the job to. No, no, I have not had to do that. I've been involved in interviews, but no, I've not had to be the only, one that had to call. Only, only people who have never done that think this stuff matters. The only reason that I bring it up is because it is such a high-profile position. It's That's the only reason pro- we pro- Gary, Gary, it's not a high-profile position. Outside of you and I, people who like this sport, people who listen to this show because they're heavily invested in college sports, in the football, okay? okay. Nobody. Nobody on the planet could have named the coach at Washington State until he got fired for not wanting to get a COVID shot. Nobody. True. You okay. had to be heavily invested in the – so it's not a high-profile job, okay? It's just not. Uh, true. I, I will say this. And it's not even an nobody, important job. He's, yeah. a, he's a head coach of a football team at a state university where the majority of the people that live in that state don't care about the sport. They don't care about the school. They don't care about any of it. If nothing else, I do wonder what AD Chris Del Cane's thoughts are on this. I'm sure that he was not uh, exactly thrilled about it. He's the uh, AD at Texas right now. Uh, but the reason I say it's a high-profile job is the fact that it, nobody knew really who Jeff Banks was until Monday night, right? Uh, the people that are tied into recruiting know uh, because he's done a fantastic job at A&M, at Alabama, and now at Texas. He is known as a recruiter, but... You know, stuff like this, it kinda, if nothing else, it kind of puts a little bit of a black eye on uh, on what he's doing. And I don't think it'll matter two weeks from now, but right this second, it's, it's certainly something that everybody's kind of having fun with. So, moving on from this one, which didn't want to spend long on that, but hey, anytime a story like that pops up with... Uh, you know, with a monkey scandal, you know I'm going to hit on it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.